Um, but good afternoon everyone, my name is Alan Barr, I'm a marriage officer with Independent Humanist Ceremonies. And I've got the, the huge honour in conducting Adam and Shannon's wedding here this afternoon. Shannon and Adam want you to know just how important you all are to them because they just couldn't navigate through life without you. You're with them through everything that they do and they couldn't have had this wedding day without you all being part of it and by their sides. Now Shannon and Adam aren't just two new individuals coming together, but uh, a couple strengthening their bond, celebrating a continuing partnership, their love for one another, and the life and time that they're lucky enough to share together. Now Adam and Shannon want today to be not just a public celebration of their union, but also a day to acknowledge the role that all of you, their, their, their nearest and dearest, have played in their lives, supporting them through all the various ups and downs and trials and tribulations of life, and to thank you sincerely for everything that you do for them. Now, every single one of us here We've all got our own love stories. Uh, some of them will be longer, some shorter, some unwritten. But Shannon and Adams is just getting to the just getting to the juicy bit. Today, on your wedding day, as you promised to love each other forever you're holding the hands of your best friend. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you through the years. These are the hands that will celebrate with you when you're happy and comfort you when you're sad. These are the hands that will give you strength and support when you need it the most. And so as your hands are joined together now, so may your hearts always be. Adam and Shannon, you're about to take the next step in an adventure which began some years ago in the dance. <laughs> Since then you, you've grown together, you've fallen in love and hopefully learned from one another. And when you find your best friend, your soulmate and someone who accepts you for being everything you are, who embraces your uniqueness and always has time to have fun, you why wouldn't you love that day? Why wouldn't you choose to spend the rest of your lives continuing to make each other happy? Gravity cannot be held responsible for people falling in love. How on earth can you explain in terms of chemistry and physics? So important, a biological phenomenon as love. Adam and Shannon, you've chosen to marry and have pledged your love, respect and commitment to each other. You promise to stand by each other through whatever your lives together may bring. And following the declarations made before me in the presence of the witnesses, now my delightful duty to be married and bring she has husband and Adam.
Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you're able, you'd be upstanding. And it, it, imagine there was a roof and raise it for the new Mr. and Mrs. McGoldrick. you're holding is the one who holds your heart when the one whose eyes you gaze into gives you hopes and dreams their start when the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight and the things you plan together make the whole world seem just right when the one whom you believe in puts their trust and faith in you you found the one and only love you'll share your whole life through Yay.